is Jessie Bell Jones. I'm a performer with Center Saint Burlesque from Seattle, Washington. The performance that's featured below is, is my Hobo Jones performance. It's one of my signature acts, and in it, um, I'm portraying uh, the classic American tramp figure or a, a hobo figure, and there's an element of clowning, of modern dance, and of gender bending. Gender play is really important to me in my performance of burlesque, and I think to burlesque in general. A big part of why burlesque has really resonated with me as a performer is that I feel like so much of our identity is what we do, not what we are, and, and gender comes into play with this in, in our lives and on the stage. I feel like the ability to acknowledge and play with gender is something that we can do and change and that's fluid and evolving is a really empowering notion, and I, I really love exercising that on the stage and in my life. My name is Polly Wood, and I'm sorry I'm a little bit sick right now. <laughs> I'm doing today is called Bundled Up, and it's um, a classic striptease, but out of, I guess, unconventional costuming. I'm stripping out of snow, a snowsuit and snow gear. Um, the, sort of the inspiration of the idea was taking um, a really classic and sexy, um, traditional sort of a striptease, but in something unconventional, something unexpected, and taking something that would be goofy or silly and making it sexy. Um, I started doing burlesque in 2006, and at that time I was doing a lot of theater in Seattle. And um, I was doing a lot of collaborative art, performance art with people, and I was really looking for an art form where I had complete creative control over what I was doing, and I was able to produce um, material that was all mine. And at the time, burlesque really worked and was doing that for me. And that's just sort of how I fell into it. Yes, hello, I am Evelyn Sinclair. Seattle's wild child of burlesque from Seattle, Washington. Today what I'm going to show is my end of times act or 2012 act. A piece I did uh, inspired by a lot of the hubbub about the end of the Mayan calendar. Or I, There's a lot of um, energy around these ideas, the end of the world right now. So I made a burlesque piece about it because the end of the world scares me. So I decided to explore the end of the world with art and I was more interested in exploring sexuality with my art and with my performance art and in Middle Eastern dance at the time there wasn't a whole lot of this neo fusion belly dance um, there was some but it was it was new at that point and so I felt that in order to respect the dance form I'd grown up in I couldn't push the sexual boundaries too much so I discovered or I found out burlesque was happening um, and I saw that as a place where I could dance, but also explore content and story and narrative and be very overtly sexual. My name is Lady Tatas. Noir act, which is um, kind of one of my signature acts. Um, it's a little more classic based, um, sultry, sexy, kind of about um, that secret rendezvous in a hotel room with a stranger. My pageant princess act, which is a commentary on the um, parallels between child pageantry and commercialized stripping. Um, I kind of go into the exploitation of, I guess, children, small girls, by their mothers. I have a pageant mom. My name is Tricity Vogue, and I'm a cabaret performer on the cabaret and burlesque scene in London. And I also run a cabaret in Burlesque Night called the Blue Stockings Society, a collective for thinking women and the men who love them. People coming to Burlesque for the first time make assumptions that because it's going to be very sexy, that it's going to have parallels with the kind of thing you might get in a lap dancing club or something, whereas nothing could be further from the truth. The whole point about burlesque is that it's very much the women performers themselves that choose to perform, that choose to make it, uh, that choose to be sexy and choose to do it in their own way and in their own language. And it's women who are real shapes and sizes, real women being sexy. It's not about being a model uh, or, or being um, kind of uh, artificially enhanced. Partly because you're seeing a live show. It's not the sort of place where you can hide behind Photoshop. 